Joining me now is Princess Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, of course, one of the people who knew her best of all. Morning, Paul. What did you make of it? Good morning. I've watched already the first three episodes of The Crown. I think it's the best series yet. It's spectacular. There are stellar performances from Emma Corrin as the young Princess Diana and Josh O'Connor as Prince Charles. But, of course, I think um, that it's stolen. The show is stolen by uh, Gillian Anderson as Margaret Thatcher. But what a series. This is just a peep behind the doors of Buckingham Palace that perhaps the palace don't want you to see. No. Because this is the truth in many ways. It's a fair and accurate dramatisation of what happened. Now, that's remarkable that you say that because a lot of people have said, oh, come on, it's a, it's a drama, not a documentary. Yes, and and people have said, oh, it's not fair on, on Prince Charles. And you're right, the royals won't want to see this because they're thinking 20, you know, 25 years on, this is probably all kind of hopefully going away. But it's not. It's back. Well, no. Well, Doreen, I was there. Remember, yes. I was there from the very beginning. I remember meeting this shy young girl lost in a corridor at Balmoral Castle in 1980. I was 22, she was 18, and uh, I took her back to her room and she said, you wouldn't stay for a while and have a chat, would you? So I said, of course, she'd run me through the day. What happens in this place? You know, I'm completely out of my depth. What happens at lunchtime? When do I curtsy to the queen? Do I have a cup of tea at tea time? Where do I go? What happens at dinner? So I ran her through the whole day's program and I said, at the end of, of the day, after dinner, I'll set the card table out in the drawing room, go and sit down and have a, a hand of bridge with the queen. That's where you will get to know her best. So she sat there with the queen and the queen mother and I thought, yep, yeah, she's on the right track now. And I think the show, it tells you that she passed the Balmoral test, ah. that test which people have to go into <laughs> the royal household they go into the royal family and it's either sink or swim. Well, the thing is, she had you to help her, thank goodness she did, because what comes across and what's always come across is, why was nobody giving that poor girl, that young girl, a crash course in how to behave? Because nobody would know. So thank goodness you were no. there. There's no rule book. There's nobody to help you. You have to just fumble your way through it and hope that there are people, kind people along the way that will help you. Now, listen, Princess Diana was a romantic young girl. She fell in love with her prince. She thought that he was going to protect her. He was going to love her. He was going to support her. None of that happened because he was still in love with another woman. He was in love with someone who was married with two small children. But that affair actually ruled his life. And Camilla, you will see uh, her presence is omnipresent. She's always there. And Diana had to battle with that from day one. And that's really hard. And no wonder the poor wee soul had so many issues. And, you know, we know that she had eating disorders because she told us, which again was absolutely remarkable. That was groundbreaking, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you wonder why she had eating disorders? Because she said to me, I was walking down the aisle of St Paul's Cathedral, and have you seen me do that, Paul? I said, yes, many times. I've watched the tape. She said, but do you look, look at what I'm doing? I'm looking from side to side. I'm looking for Camilla. I knew she would be there. I knew she would be there on my wedding day. And then, of course, on the Royal Yacht Britannia on our honeymoon, Diana found those cufflinks with the intertwined seas and had an almighty row with her husband and said, what is this? Well, of course, it was a wedding gift from Camilla so that he would never forget her intertwined Ooh. seas. From then on, I had to unpick all the intertwined seas off her shoes, off her handbags. Of course, they were Chanel. Most girls would, would die for the, that emblem, but not the princess. No, she didn't, she didn't want it. to be reminded of that affair, which she had to live with. It's so it's really, really sad. It's actually heartbreaking to watch. I mean, it must be really it difficult is. for you because Emma Corrin, who plays her, she's one of the few, I've never seen anybody getting Diana right, you know, because it's very no. hard to do. But she's got the she's got the gestures. I mean, you watching that must be must be difficult yes. for you. That's your friend. It is. I watch it and I watch her from profile and I think it's her. I think she's got it exactly. And her mannerisms and the way she talks. And I'm feeling it again. I'm feeling that her, her personality being dismantled behind the scenes by these people who don't really care. They're all gods in their own kingdoms and they're just looking after themselves. They didn't take care of her. They didn't give her praise. She only got negativity. She became a victim. 
because of the way she was treated. You were just talking that, just then with Dr. Alex about mental health. Well, mm. it wasn't understood back then, but boy, Diana was sure a case for someone suffering with mental health. Do you think that William and Harry will watch The Crown? Do you think that they all, what would you don't think they will, no? I don't think any member of the royal family will watch The Crown because it reminds them of too much negativity from the past. It, it's going to remind them of what they got wrong. And mm. look, all the people that come into the royal family, how many of them have survived? Not many, only one, really. Um, Sophie, Duchess of Wessex. She seems to be, be running the course, but the rest of them have all fell at whatever fence. Nobody survives inside that institution. It's unbelievable. It's, it's an incredible institution, but, you know, for outsiders to come into it, yeah. as Meghan has found, it's almost impossible. No, that's true. I mean, Kate has done really well. She's done very, very well. Um, and she, I, think she's, I think she's a lot more steely um, then, then she comes across. She comes across a very, very delightful woman. But you're right to mention to mention Megan. Um, I think that the trouble with this season for me is that it's very recent. You know, like yes. I, I, lo I love the earlier one, the very, very first ones, because that felt historical in a way. And I know this is too, but it's very recent, and I think it's very painful for a lot of people. Well, it is. But remember, you know, I was I was there. I did see it. I did hear it. It was part of my life. And when you hear the Queen Mother personally say something like, well, Diana's such a silly girl. Doesn't she understand men have affairs? Now that puts it all into a nutshell of what the royal family think, because they, they think it's okay yeah. for that to happen. Yeah. Prince Philip didn't, by the way, because he wrote very supportive letters to Diana. And he said to her, Mama and I do not condone Charles's relationship with Camilla. And we cannot understand for the life of us why he would choose Camilla over you. Now, that's what Prince Philip said to Princess Diana. I saw it. So, you see, there is a ripple of support for Diana in the royal family, but it wasn't a tactile support. Mm. There it's wasn't anybody that. standing beside her to yeah. say, do this, do that, because she didn't have the love and support of her husband. She had you, though, Paul. She had you. She did, and I tried to guide her as much as I could and push her in the right direction, and... I, that was my job, that was my duty. And I was a lucky man to do what I did and stand beside one of the icons of, of our century. And um, that was my privilege. Paul, thank you very much for joining us. Very, always, yes. always interesting to talk to you. Thank you so much. Lovely. Talk to you soon. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.